हेलो एवरी वन सो वी आर इन कंटिन्यूशन विद द प्रीवियस प्रॉब्लम सो दैट द प्रॉब्लम इज अ थ्री हिंच सर्कुलर आर्च ऑफ स्पैन थर्टी मीटर विद सेंट्रल राइज ऑफ सिक्स मीटर कैरीज अ कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड लोड ऑफ टेन किलो न्यूटन एट टेन मीटर फ्रॉम लेफ्ट इंच सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड सपोर्ट रिएक्शंस we have also calculated maximum positive and negative bending moment in this video we will see how we can find normal thrust and radial shear in circular arches they are asking us to find normal thrust and radial shear at left quarter point okay so this is the diagram uh, we have calculated the support reactions in the previous video and also we have calculated the maximum positive bending moment which is in span ac and also maximum negative bending moment which is in span bc now they are asking us to find normal thrust and radial shear at left quarter point at left quarter point means l by 4 from a okay so you need to define a point call it e left quarter point l by 4 which is 7.5 meter distance from a draw the free body diagram of ae now you see you already you know the reaction at a the horizontal and vertical reaction at a so in order to balance this member ae you need to find the horizontal reaction and vertical reaction at e okay so they are asking us to find normal thrust and radial shear at e so in that point you need to find the horizontal and vertical reaction okay so now you need to know the formula of normal thrust and radial shear normal thrust equal to h cos theta minus v sin theta r is equal to h sin theta plus v cos theta you see the sign of h will not change okay the sign of h will not change but the sign of v will change here it is minus it can be positive sometimes here it is plus it can be negative sometimes okay so if if you are getting v upward whenever you you are finding the reaction if v is upward then don't change the sign if v is downward then change the sign okay now we need to discuss how to find this theta in case of circular arches you see at this point we need to find the normal thrust and radial shear we have to join this point with the center and we know the radius we have already calculated in the previous video r equal to 21.75 okay so this theta we are talking about so we, this theta is easy you can use this trigonometric function sin theta equal to opposite This is 7.5 divided by hypotenuse, so theta is 20.17 degree. So you can substitute <coughs> in this formula normal thrust and radial shear. You see normal thrust 8.33 the sine of h will not change. I told you uh, into cos theta minus and this minus. Why I have taken this minus because v is downward. V is downward. That's why we need to take it minus. Hence the sine will uh, this sine will become positive. So directly it is getting changed. so similarly you can find normal thrust by substituting the value of h v and theta and you see i have taken v minus so in this way we can find normal thrust and radial shear thank you for watching my video thank you very much